once again, good day grade 8 learners. In this video, we are going to learn factoring, sum, and difference of two cubes. Here's what you need. Something to write on, a notebook or a paper, and something to write with, a pen or a pencil. To maximize your learning, you could pause and replay this video as needed. Once again, welcome to DepEd Cebu City, Grade 8 Mathematics, Quarter 1, Module 1, Factoring. Lesson 3, Factoring, Sum and Difference of Two Cubes. What you need to know. At the end of this lesson, you are expected to identify which expression is the sum and difference of two cubes and factor the sum and difference of two cubes. Now what's in? Here is the list of the first 12 perfect cube numbers. Let us read them. 1 cube is equal to 1. How did we get that? You could simply multiply 1 3 times. So 1 times 1 times 1 is equal to 1. 2 cubed is equal to 8. Again, 2 times 2 times 2 is equal to 8. 3 cubed is equal to 27. 4 cubed is equal to 64. 5 cubed is equal to 125. 6 cubed is equal to 216. 7 cubed is equal to 343. 8 cubed is equal to 512. Now, can you give the answer to the last four? Okay, let's do it. 9 cubed is equal to? That's correct, 729. 10 cubed is equal to? You're right, it's 1,000. 11 cubed is equal to? 1,331. Good job! And lastly, 12 cubed is equal to? Excellent! That's 1,728. Let us familiarize ourselves with these perfect cubes. Again, 1 cubed is 1, 2 cubed is 8, 3 cubed is 27, 4 cubed is 64, 5 cubed is 125, 6 cubed is 216, 7 cubed is 343, 8 cubed is 512, 9 cubed is 729, 10 cubed is 1000, 11 cubed is 1331, 12 cubed is 1728. Thumbs up? Good job! Now let's move on. What's new? We have the quantity of x plus 4 times the quantity of x squared minus 4x plus 16 is equal to x cubed plus 64. But why is that so? And how did that happen? Now let's check it out. With the distributive property of multiplication, we can distribute the terms in our first multiplicand to the terms in our second multiplicand. x times x squared, x times negative 4x, x times 16. 4 times x squared, 4 times negative 4x, and 4 times 16. Now let us simplify by multiplying. x times x squared is x cubed, x times negative 4x is negative 4x squared, x times 16 is 16x, 4 times x squared is 4x squared, 4 times negative 4x is negative 16x, and then 4 times 16 is 64. And then, we are going to combine like terms. Okay? And, alright, so what's left is x cubed plus 64. 
Good job. What is it? Recall that the quantity of x plus 4 times the quantity of x squared minus 4x plus 16 is equal to x cubed plus 64 because of the distributive property of multiplication. Now, you are going to learn the reverse of this. Your knowledge about the perfect cubes will help you identify the sum and difference of two cubes. Now to understand more on how to factor the sum and difference of two cubes, let us study the pattern, steps, and examples. Factoring the greatest common factor is still important in this lesson. The sum of two cubes has the pattern a cubed plus b cubed is equal to the quantity of a plus b times the quantity of a squared minus a b plus b squared. The difference of two cubes has the pattern a cubed minus b cubed is equal to a minus b times the quantity of a squared plus a b plus b squared. Observe th that the difference in the pattern above differs only in their signs. There you go. Same. It means same with the sum or difference of two cubes. Opposite. It means opposite with the sum and difference of two cubes. And always positive. Remember that? It's so. Good job! Let's go to example number one. Step one. Decide if the two terms have anything in common called the greatest common factor. If so, factor out the GCF. And do not forget the GCF as part of your final answer. In this case, they don't have a common factor. Let's move on to step number two. Check if the two terms are perfect cubes. Is x cubed a perfect cube? Yep. Is 64 a perfect cube? Yes, yes, yes. Let's go to step three. Now rewrite the original problem as the sum or difference of two perfect cubes. There you go. And step 4a, write what you see. If you disregard the parentheses and the cubes in step 2, the parentheses and the cubes in step 2, you will get x plus 4. Okay, step 4b. Square, multiply, and square. So, you square the first term, multiply the first and the second, and square the last term. Alright. And then, we have our soap or same, same sign, different, different sign, and end on a positive. You got it? You got it. Let's go to step Five. Write the final answer. And the final answer is... Ta -da -da. Therefore, x cubed plus 64 is equal to the quantity of x plus 4 times the quantity of x squared minus 4x plus 16. Let's go to example number 2. Again, decide if these two terms have anything in common called the... Yay! The GCF! And then, factor out the GCF. We have 2 times the quantity of x cubed minus 8. Is x cubed minus 8 perfect cubes? Yup, they are. Then we proceed to step number 3. Step number 3, rewrite the original problem as the sum or difference of two cubes. This time, it is a difference. Alright, step 4A. Step 
4a. Write what you see. So again, we disregard the parenthesis and the cube. Parenthesis and the cube. So we have 2 times the quantity of x minus 2. There you have it. Let's go to step 4b. Square, multiply, and square. We square x, we have x squared. We multiply x times 2, we have 2x. And we square 2, we have 4. And then, do not forget your same, same sign, different sign, and always end on a positive. And that's it. That is your final answer. Therefore, 2x cubed plus 16 is equal to 2 times the quantity of x plus 2 times the quantity of x squared minus 2x plus 4. What's more? Now it's your turn. Activity 1.3. Color me. Find the factor of each sum and difference of two cubes in the box below. Here... Color the box with its corresponding color. So we have x cubed plus 8, we color it red. And the factors of x cubed plus 8, dun, 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 dun. that is right, and we color it red. Now you have 9 more numbers to work on. Again, please do not forget to pause and play the video as needed. Submit your work on time. Would you give me a thumbs up? Yay! There you go. Good job, everyone. Now, here's what you need to remember. The sum and difference of two cubes can only be factored if the given expression is a binomial and the terms have perfect cubes. Good job. In times of profound change, the learners inherit the earth, while the learned find themselves beautifully equipped to deal with a world that no longer exists. Once again, this has been your teacher, Miss Mary Kate. It is good to be learned, but it is best to keep on learning. So, Keep on learning and have a bountiful day.